Let's lift our hands. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. How many of you can face tomorrow because Jesus lives? You have no fear. Hallelujah. The God who opens doors where doors are closed is together with us. The God who raises the poor from the dust is together with us. The God who cleans the lepers, the God who opens the blind eyes, the God who turned barren women into the joyful mother of children, He's together with us. He lives. So lift your hands and sing together with the worship team. Because He lives. Yes. I can bless tomorrow. Because He lives. All fear is gone. All fear is gone. Because, because I know. You're my future. He holds my future. And life now is worth living. And life is worth living just because He because he lives, because he lives, I confess, I confess to my Savior lives, because he lives, all fear is gone, all fear is gone, because I know, because I know. our hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mama Nani Yutatu Saidia. Amen. You are strong. Amen. Wana Sifiwe. Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. So clap your hands and give God praise. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank Asante. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We give honor to the power of the Lord in this place. I thank God for Pastor France, Bishop Francis this morning. Can we clap our hands for Bishop Francis this morning? And to his wife, Pastor Mutwa. 
Na hata mke wake, Reverend Catherine Mutua. Amen. Bless Amen. you. Can we thank God for his wife? Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mke wake. Amen. Amen. It's good to have a good wife. Ni vizuri kuwa na mke mwema. It makes your life so much better when you have a good wife. Inafanya maisha yako yawe mazuri zaidi unapokuwa na mke mzuri. I thank God for my wife. Nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mke wangu. I have a wife. I've been married almost 42 years. I know I look like I'm very young. That I don't look like that I've been married that long. But I'm an old man. But I'm a good looking old man. Amen. 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 Come on now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bless the Lord. It's good to be here in this great, great continent, Kenya. A place I have never been. But my ancestors have been here. So I thank God for being able to come back home. Amen. I thank God for being able to come back home. I don't know. Pastor Francis may be my cousin. Pengine uh, uh, Bishop Francis ni binamu yangu. You may be my cousin. Pengine wewe unesa kuwa binamu yangu. Amen. So e I thank God for being among family. Uh, kwa hivyo na shukuru mungu kwa ajili sisi ni familia moja. I am your family. Mimi ni familia yako. You are my family. Wewe ni familia yangu. So wave at me and say hi family. <laughs> Ewu kan salimi yoni ambie hi family. Amen. I am so thankful to be here. When we were in the United States, the pastor who sponsored this trip, he asked that anybody want to come over and share with the people of God. And I told him if he wanted me to come and share with the people of God, I would be happy to do that. I pastor a church in South Carolina. And where I pastor is called Beaufort, South Carolina. And the island that I pastor on is called St. Helena Island. Their ancestry comes from Liberia. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Liberia. Their family came from Liberia. To South Carolina. Their legacy or their ancestry is called Gullah. Na kule chanzo cha kizazi chao cha kale kinaitwa kule gala. So the people that I pastor watu ambao mimi naudumia kama mchungaji have a African heritage. Wao wanatoka katika kizazi cha Afrika. So every time I go to church kila wakati ninapokwenda kanisani I am amongst the African heritage. Mimi niko katika kizazi cha wa Afrika. They are Gullah people. Ni watu ambao ni waajabu. When you have a chance Look up Gullah people. Watafute watu wanaoitwa wagalo. G U L G na G U L L A H. Na L O A H. Amen. Amen. All right, I thank God for my translator. Nashukuru Mungu kwa mtafsiri wangu. Can we thank God for my translator? Pigie makofi mtafsiri wangu. I have preached overseas. I have preached in uh, Latin American countries where I had to use a translator. But you don't need a translator when you can feel the love of God. Because if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son 
ambao ni mwana wake cleanses us from all sin. Inatutakasa sisi kutoka kwa dhambi zote. Now the kind of preacher that I am. Na mimi aina ya mchungaji ambaye mimi ndiye. I'm a very excited preacher. Mimi ni mchungaji ni mhubiri ninayesisimuka. And sometimes I like people to praise God. Na wakati mwingine ninapenda watu wakisifu Mungu. Am I in the right church? Na je, niko katika kanisa sawa? Where people praise God? Wahali ambapo watu wanasifu Mungu? Well, let everything that have breath praise the Lord hallelujah glory to God bless his name amen. Amen. amen amen I want to preach this morning from a very past, familiar passage of scripture from St. John the 11th chapter kutoka katika kitabu cha waraka wa Yohana and, and we want to talk about Lazarus this morning. Na siku ya leo nataka tukaweze kuongea kuhusu Lazarus. How many know the story of Lazarus? Wangapi wanajua hadithi ya Lazarus? Well, I want to point out some things this morning. Nataka nikaweze kuelekezea kidole mambo kadhaa katika asubuhi ya leo. That's going to help somebody. Ambayo yatamsaidia mtu come out of the grave look at somebody next to you and tell them god is going to help you come out of the grave look at somebody else that you that, that you sat next to him if you don't like him it's okay you, you, you already there you can't move so look at them and say God is going to help you come out of the grave if you read your Bible St. John the 11th, the 11th chapter it says that there was a certain man named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. I want to drop down to the fourth verse. The Bible says when Jesus heard that he heard that he said this sickness is not unto death but for the glory of God that the son of God may be glorified through it I want you to go down to the 25th verse. Jesus said unto her, I, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I want you to go down now to the 40th verse. I'm getting all this reading out of the way now so you can understand when I start sharing the gospel to you. The 40th verse says, Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee, Mimi siku kuambia, that if thou wouldest believe ya kwamba kama ukiamini, thou shouldest see the glory of God utawona utukufu wa Mungu then they took away the stone kisha wakaliondoa lile jiwe from the place where the dead was laid kutoka mahali ambapo yule aliyekufa alipokuepo and Jesus lifted up his eyes na Yesu akayainua macho yake and said father i thank thee akamwambia baba anakushukuru that thou hast heard me kwa kuwa umenisikia and i knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it that they believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus spoken, 
Na alipomaliza kunena, he cried with a loud voice. Akalia kwa sauti kubwa. Lazarus come forth. Akasema Lazarus otoka huku nje. And he that was dead. Na yule aliyekuwa amekufa. Tell them to say was dead. Waibu ambia hapo mtu aliyekufa. Say was dead. Sema aliyekufa. Say was dead. Sema aliyekufa. Came forth. Akatoka nje bound hand and foot akiwa amefungwa mikononi with, na miguuni with grave clothes akiwa amefungwa kwa sanda and his face was bound about with a napkin na hata uso wake pia ulikuwa umefungwa jesus said unto them yesu akawaambia loose him mufungueni and let him go na muamuache aende the lord is saying today Bwana anasema leo somebody kwamba kuna mtu is about to be loose ambaye anafaa kufunguliwa to do what the lord has called you to do ili ukatende yale ambao bwana amekuitia ukayatende god has sent me all the way mungu amenituma kutoka mbali to nakuru kuja hapa nakuru to the redeemed church hapa katika kanisa la redeemed to lose somebody kuweza kumweka huru mtu lose somebody from sickness kumfungua mtu kutoka kwa magonjwa lose somebody from having a troubled mind kumtoa mtu kutoka katika hali ya kusumbuka lose somebody from having a bad heart kumweka huru mtu aliyefungwa moyo wake today is your day siku ya leo ni siku yako i want you to high five somebody nataka ukaweze kumpatia mtu to high five and say today is your day now muambie leo ni siku yako now give god glory and praise hallelujah hallelujah the bible says biblia inasema that mary kwamba mariamu martha martha and lazarus na lazaro were very good friends walikuwa ni marafiki wazuri to jesus kwa yesu Jesus would go by their house. Yesu angeenda kutembea kwa nyumba yao and have a bite to eat. Na akawa na chakula cha kukula. Because they were good friends. Kwa sababu walikuwa marafiki wake wazuri. See when you're good friends with Jesus. Si wewe una urafiki mzuri na Yesu. Jesus will stop by your house. Yesu atapitia kwenye nyumba yako. When you're good friends with Jesus. Unapokuwa rafiki mzuri na Yesu. Jesus will come and sit with you. Yesu atakuja aketi na wewe. He'll talk with you. Ataongea na wewe. He'll walk with you. Atatembea na wewe. He'll bless you. Atakubariki. How many are good friends with Jesus? Wangapi wako na urafiki mzuri na Yesu? How many want Jesus to come by your house? Wangapi wanataka Yesu atembee nyumbani mwao? I don't know about you but I need Jesus to come by my house. Wangapi watasema nahitaji Yesu aje katika nyumba yangu? I need him to bless my house. Nahitaji ubariki nyumba yangu. I need him to bless my family. Nahitaji ubariki familia yangu. I need him to touch my mind. Nataka ukaweze kuguza mume wangu. I need him to touch my spirit. Nataka ukaguze mume wangu. Somebody holler out in their mouth Jesus come by my house. Hebu ukaweze kutangaza kwa sauti Yesu kuja kwa nyumba yangu. Amen. Amen. I, so Jesus. Kwa hivyo Yesu. Very good friends with Martha. Alikuwa ni rafiki mzuri na Martha. Mary and Lazarus. Pamoja na Mariamu na Lazaro. But the Bible says. Lakini Biblia inasema. That Lazarus got sick. Kwamba Lazaro akawa mgonjwa. And Jesus. Na Yesu. Was visited. Alitembelewa. By a messenger. Na, na mtu aliyetumwa that was sent by Mary and Martha aliyetumwa na Mariamu pamoja na Martha to let Jesus know ili kuweza kumfahamisha Yesu that Lazarus was sick kwamba Lazaro ni mgonjwa you figure that when Jesus heard unaweza kufikiria kwamba Yesu aliposikia that his good friend was sick kwamba rafiki yake mzuri ni mgonjwa that he would hurry up kwamba ataenda mbio and come see about his friend ili aje akamuone rafiki wake but Jesus didn't show up lakini Yesu hakujitokeza pale. They called Jesus but he didn't show up. Wakamuita Yesu lakini hakuja. Some of you are calling Jesus right now. Wengine wenu mnaita Yesu sasa. But he hasn't showed up. Lakini bado hajakuja. Jesus said I'm not going right now. Yesu akasema siendi sasa. Because his sickness is not 
But it will be for the glory of God. Whatever you're going through right now, it's not the end. But it's for the glory of God. Can somebody say hallelujah? It is for the glory of God. So the Bible says that Lazarus, he died. And when he died, I don't know if you know Jewish custom, but when they died in the Old Testament, they wrapped their body. When Jesus died, they wrapped their body. And I want somebody today to represent Lazarus. I want somebody to come up here and represent Lazarus. Who wants to be Lazarus today? <laughs> you. Come here. <laughs> You're going to be Lazarus. Just stand. Lay down on the... Lay down. Lazarus. <laughs> There you go, Lazarus. All right. Okay. You. Come here. <laughs> She's a, come here. Come on. You're going to be Mary. There's going to be a healing if you do it. It's okay. A healing. Come on, somebody say healing. I know the feeling. Healing, come on. All right. Pink, Martha. Maria, Martha, Martha. Nawe. Martha Kuja. Mary. Who you ni Mariamu? Martha. Who you ni Martha? Lazarus. Now who you ni Razaro? Let's clap our hands for Mary, Martha, <laughs> and Lazarus. <laughs> Mata, Maria Munarazaro. This is your brother. Who you need to go yako? He has died. Ame kufa. What do you do when people die? Unafanya nini mtu akifa? You cry. Unalia. So cry. Kwa hivyo aza kulia, Maria. Cry. There you go. Cry. Mata na Maria Munataka mulie. Lazarus is dead. Razaro ame kufa. But Jesus said. Lakini Yesu anasema. His death is not final. It's not the end. Sometimes you have to go through some things so God can show his strength in your life. Never think that the devil has the final say because God is author. He is the finisher. He is the first and the last. The devil does not have the final say on your life. Somebody give God a good praise. Hallelujah. Now, Mary and Martha. Maria Muna Martha. In the Jewish custom. Kulingana na desturi ya Kiyahudi. They believed. Wali amini. That when somebody died. Kwa mba mtu akifa. That when their soul left their body. Wana mwoyo wawo wake unatoka kwa mwili wake. That that soul. Kwa mba roo yao. Hovers. Uwa ina yumba yumba. Over that body. Juu ya mwili wake. And it may come back in that body. Na uineza kurejene ya ule mwili. They gave it three days. Waka upatia ule mwili siku tatu. But if it didn't come back in four days. Kama iyo nafsi ya ikurudi tena. Then that body wasn't getting back up. Uwa mwili ya uzi uinuka tena. But before they buried Lazarus, they wrapped him up. 
Wakamfunga kwa sanda. See, you got to understand Hivo lazima uelewe that when you come into Christ, wakati unapokuja kwa Kristo, Christ wraps you up. Yesu anakufunga. He ties you up. Anakufunga. He seals you up. Yeye anakuwekea mhuri wa kukufunga. So that means that the devil can't get in. Kumaanisha kwamba shetani yezi kuingia. When you're sealed up in the blood of Jesus Christ. Wakati umefunikwa kwa damu ya Yesu. sealed up in the power of the Holy Ghost. Unapofunikwa kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Is anybody sealed in the power of the Holy Ghost? Unafungwa kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. So what Mary and Martha did? Kile ambacho Mariamu na Martha walifanya. They believed if we going to give him a chance. Walisema hatuipi nafasi. We going to wrap him up. Hatutamfunga kwanza. The reason some of you are here right now. Sababu wengine muko hapa siku ya leo. Because somebody wrapped you up in prayer. Ni kwamba Mungu kuna mtu alikufunga kwa maombi. They prayed for your life. Amekuwa kiombea maisha yako. When the devil could have killed you. Wakati shetani angekufikia. The prayers of the people. Yale maombi ya watu. Kept you in your mind. Yakakuweka ukiwa sawa kwa mawazo yako. you in your health. Yakakuweka katika afya nzuri. Look at somebody and tell them thank you for praying for me. Ambia mtu asante kwa kuniombea. Your pastor prays for you. Mchungaji wako huwa anakuombea. Your prayer warriors pray for you. Na wale waombei waombezi mashujaa huwa wanakuombea. Aren't you glad somebody prays for you? Ebu shukuru Mungu kwa ajili kuna mtu huwa anakuombea. When they pray for you. Wanapokuombea. They pray protection over you. Wanaombea ulinzi juu yako. I want you to write protection on there. Nataka uandike ulinzi juu ya hicho kitamba. Just write, write protection on there. Andika ulinzi juu ya kitamba hicho. I'm almost I'll be finished pastor. Nitamaliza kwa haraka. Take that wrap it around his feet. Chukua hiyo kitamba mfunge miguu yake. Somebody got to wrap you up in prayer. Mtu lazima akufunge kwa maombi. They wrap you up in protection. Wanakufunga kwa maombi ya ulinzi. You know where I come from in the United States? Unajua nilipotoka kule Amerikani? We have traffic lights. Tulikutukona zile matatu. Since I've been in the Kuru. Pia hapa na I haven't seen one traffic light. Mimi sijaona taza barabara huko Nakuru. I was walking across the street. Nitembea kwenye barabara zenu. And I don't have all that good knees. Na sina miguu mizuri. And the car was coming. Na gari liko linakuja. Somebody pray protection on my life. Mtu aliombea ulizi juu ya maisha. That car almost hit me. Hiyo gari ingenigonga. Cuz they don't have no street lights. Kwa kuwa hawana taza barabara. No traffic lights. Hawana zile taza barabara. No walk no 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 walkway to go across the street. Hakuna hata pale pa zebra So how many know you got to pray for protection? Nina wangapi wanajua lazima uombe ulinzi. When you drive in, in the Kuru. Unapoendesha ama kutembea na Kuru. If I had to drive in the Kuru. Ikibidi niendeshe na Kuru. I be praying all the time. Nimekuwa nikiomba kila wakati. Because you got to know how to drive. Kwa hiyo kwa kuwa lazima ujue kuendesha kabisa. You all right? She can't stay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, we got to change we got to change marriage. Tumebadilisha <laughs> Mariamu. So let's thank God for Mary number 2. Tushukuru Mungu kwa Mary namba 2. Let's stretch our hands. We believe God, God is going to give you strength. Kwa dada Karen Mungu asifiwe. In those legs in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Come on somebody open up their mouth and say we thank God. For healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Because God can do it. God can heal your body. God can give you strength in your back. Strength in your legs. In the name of Jesus. I'm a witness. Mimi ni mshuhuda. Because I couldn't stand a long time. Kwa sababu singeweza kusimama muda mrefu. But God gave me strength. Kwa lakini Mungu alinipa nguvu. And I can stand, I can bend, I can. Naweza kusimama. Naweza chuchuma. Wrap that up. Wrap. Mfunge. Martha, Mary, help pick them legs up. Martha saidia kufunga razaro. Wrap him. That's it, wrap him tight, wrap him. Mfunge na ubali kabisa. Wrap him. There you go. Wrap him. All right. Dead people have their arms down to the side. There you go. Watu wamekufa akagi yo style weka mikono straight. 
All right, so he has protection. Now, Sasa, I want you to write prepare. P R E P A R E. Prepare. Because what God does, God protects you. Mungu huwa anakulinda, and then he prepares you. Kisha Some of you are being prepared right now sasa to do great things mambo in this city. Can Katika I get a witness? Mtu. Hallelujah. God is Nisiki getting ready hallelujah. to use you. Mungu All right. Prepare. Sasa Wrap him up, Martha. M- mfunge Martha. Hands. Okay. You got to help him a little bit. Wrap him. There you go. Wrap him. Wrap them hands. Funga mikono. They doing a good job. All right, I got to hurry up here. I got to hurry up. We got to hurry up. We got to end up. Lazarus is already in the tomb. Lazaro, you condani a kaburi sasa. So we got protection. Ivo tu kona ulinzi. We got prepare. Tuko na And now we got to have praise. Because when he comes out, when God brings you out, you got to learn how to praise God. How many know how to praise God? Praise God. Praise God. Oh, clap your hands. Praise God. Open up your mouth and praise God. We're just going to fold it. Fold it. Just fold it. Yeah, just. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just fold it like that. And we're going to just lay it, lay it across his forehead. Sasa hii kufunga kichwa. Lay it across his forehead. Ukaweke kwenye kipaji chake. There you go. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. Okay, Mary and Martha, y'all go over there and sit right there. Sit right there. Maria na Martha kaeni hapa karibu. Okay. Y'all, y'all are crying. Na muendele kulia. Okay. Okay. This is Jesus. Somebody say, thank God for Jesus. It's Jesus. Amen. Amen. The revelation says he was like bronze. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Martha? Martha? All right. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is on the way. Yesu anakuja. All right. Jesus is on the way. So, so Martha, go run to Jesus. Kimbia kwa Yesu. Mary, you hold up. Martha. Jesus. <laughs> but you're you're upset. No. no yes, you are. <laughs> tell, tell her this is my play. This is my play. Tell her I'm doing this. Tell her she's upset. Because Jesus didn't show up. Some of y'all get upset when Jesus doesn't show up when you want him to. And that's what the Bible says. You tell Jesus if you would have showed up, my brother wouldn't have died. But I, Jesus, you all right. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Martha, do you believe that? But she didn't believe 
that Jesus could get him up right now. She thought that he would get up in the resurrection. But Jesus meant I can get him up right now. How many believe Jesus can do it right now? Not tomorrow, not next week. But somebody say Jesus can do it now. So here now, Martha's here. Now Mary came and said the same thing. Now, Sasa? you four, right there. Come here, come here. Come, 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 come. Come, come. come. come tell them I got to finish by 11. Come, come, come. come. You, come, come. So when Mary got up, she had a crowd. Still look at Jesus, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Stand behind. Stand behind Mary. Y'all tell them to cry. See, when you have people in your life, don't always have people that can't encourage you. Have somebody in your life that can encourage you. Shake somebody by the hand and say, you can make it. But see, there you go, you can make it. But, but, but here they are now with Mary crying. Because Jesus didn't show up on time. But Jesus knew that he could get Lazarus up. But he had to get all those that were behind him and beside him to make them realize that he can raise somebody from the dead. Do you believe Jesus can raise somebody from the dead? You and I were dead in our trespasses and our sins. But Jesus raised us up. Aren't you glad Jesus raised you up out of your sins? All right, so Jesus now, he started looking at everybody and then Jesus started crying. Cry Jesus. The Bible said Jesus wept. There you go. <laughs> There you go, Jesus, Jesus cried. See, see, Jesus feels what you feel. The Bible says that we have a high priest that can still be touched by our infirmities. When nobody else understands. When nobody else feels what you feel. Jesus feels what you feel. He feels your hurt. He feels your pain. And what I love about Jesus, Jesus will come and see about you. Yesu atakuja na keti karibu na wewe. So I want y'all back up a little bit. Cuz Jesus getting ready to go to work. Nataka murudi nyuma kidogo. Tell him back up a little bit. Jesus about to go to work. Msimame kando kwa sababu Yesu anataka kwenda kufanya kazi. So after Jesus finished crying, baada ya Yesu kumaliza kulia, he started praying. Akaanza kuomba. He said, "Father, I thank thee." Akasema, "Baba, nakushukuru." That thou has heard me. Kwamba wewe umenisikia. Because you hear me all the time. Kwa sababu kila wakati huwa unasikia maombi yangu. He said, "Now, Father." Na akasema, "Sasa baba, I need this to happen." Ninahitaji hili litendeke. So everybody can see it. Ili kila mtu aone. See, what I believe that Jesus didn't show up that he delayed his coming because he wanted the glory of God to be revealed. So this is what I believe. Pastor Francis may have to fix this but I believe that when Jesus didn't show up he started praying and I believe when Jesus prayed something has to happen. 
Jambo lazima litendeke. Because Jesus said, Kwa sababu Yesu anasema, Father, I thank thee. Baba nakushukuru. That thou has heard me. Baba wewe umenisikia. In other words, Jesus has already prayed. Kwa maneno mengine ni kwamba Yesu alikuwa ameshaomba. About Lazarus. Kuhusu Lazaro. So I believe, pastor, naamini mchungaji, that Lazarus, kwamba Lazaro was already up. Tayari alikuwa amefufuka. Already up. Tayari alikuwa amefufuka. Before he came out of the grave. Kabla hajatoka kaburini. So you have to realize. Lazima utambue. That when Jesus starts praying. Wakati Yesu anapoanza kuomba. Whatever is going to happen for you. Kile kitakachoenda kukutendekea. It's already done. Tayari kimetendeka. I want you to know that what God has said. Nataka ujue kwamba kile Mungu amesema. It's already done. Tayari kimetendeka. You got to believe God. Lazima muamini Mungu. Somebody open up their mouth and say I believe you God. So Lazarus. I want you to get up. Just just yeah, you got to stay the way you are. Just get up. Because see sometimes the Lord will bind you up. Mungu atakufunga. So you won't mess up your future. Ili usiharibu siku zako za usoni. that you want to do. Kuna mambo ungetaka kufanya. God says I got you tied up. Mungu anasema lazima nikufunge. So you can mess up your future. Ili usiharibu siku za usoni. So I believe Lazarus. Naamini Lazaro. Swing your legs around Lazarus. Wewe nyosha miguu yako Lazaro. Just swing them around. Wewe geuka uangalie umati huku. Lazaro. Stand up. Kisha Lazaro sima. No, you can't you ain't in the grave. He got to he got to stand up. Maria mwezi ingia kaburini wacha Lazaro ajitetee hapa. See, look at what the Lord has done. Ona kile ambacho Bwana ameweka. She was getting ready to help him. Alikuwa anajaribu. But when God gives you power, wakati Mungu anajaribu. You can get yourself up. Uwezi unaweza kujiua. Tell somebody God has given you power. Mungu amekupa nguvu to get yourself up. Kuweza kujiinua. So Jesus prayed. Yesu akaomba. Come here. Here's a, bring that chair here. Bring, bring it right here. I'm almost finished, Pastor. Bring that chair right there. Okay. Right here. Now. Uh-uh. 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 There is a stone. Punajiwe. And the Bible says that Jesus said, Take away the stone. See, that's very important. Because the stone sealed Lazarus in and kept him from decaying. It kept him from spoiling. What God has done, he has blocked your way. Mungu amefunga njia yako. The devil couldn't get in. Shetani aziingia. God preserved you. Mungu alikuhifadhi. God has preserved your health. Mungu ameifadhi yako. God has preserved your mind. Mungu ameifadhi mawazo yako. God has preserved your spirit. Ameifadhi na moyo wako. But I want somebody to realize it's your time to come out now. Na nataka utambue kwamba ni wakati wako kutoka nje. Tell somebody it's your time to come out now. Ni wakati wako kutoka nje. The people in your life. Watu katika maisha yako. Because Mary and Martha said, kwa, don't take away the stone. Na kwa kuwa Mariamu na Martha walisema usiondoe jiwe. Because he probably stink by now. Kwa sababu kwa kufikia sasa alanuka. That's what some people are saying about you. Hivyo ndivyo watu wanasema kukuhusu. No, it's over for you. Kwamba imekwisha. But I want somebody to realize and say it's not over. Nataka utambue useme haijakwisha. Come on, say it. Open up your mouth loud and say it's not over. Useme haijakwisha. Clap your hands and give God praise and say it's not over. Kama kofi useme haijakwisha. So the stone. Kwa hivyo lile jiwe. You have to believe. Lazima uamini. That Lazarus is okay. Kwa Lazaro yuko sawa. You can't have people in your life. Unaweza kuwa na watu maishani mwako. That's going to be doubting. Ambao wako na mashaka. That's not going to believe. Ambao hawaamini. I need people in my life. Nahitaji watu katika maisha yangu. That's going to believe in what God says. Ambao wanaamini kile ambacho Mungu amesema. I need people amesema. in my life. Nahitaji watu maishani mwako. When I pray and say it out my mouth. Wakati ninapoomba. That you will encourage me that God is going to bring it to pass. Tia moyo kwamba Mungu atatenda. So Jesus says. Hivyo Yesu akasema. 
Oh, I like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take away the stone. Ribigirisheni jiwe. Go ahead. Oh, take. Msaidie hiyo jiwe ni mzito. Go that way. Take away the stone. Toeni hilo jiwe. Now. Sasa. Lazarus he sees the opening. Lazaro anaona kumefunguka. But he didn't come out yet. Lakini hakutoka nje bado. See some of y'all have to wait on the Lord. Unajua mtu lazima ujifunze kumgoja Bwana. And mwana. not move until God says move. Na usisonge hadi Mungu aseme usonge. Some of you all have moved. Wengine wenu umeshasonga. And God didn't tell you to move. Na Mungu hajakwambia usonge. You got to learn how to be steadfast. Lazima ukaweze kujifunza kukesha na kungoja. Lazarus saw it. He saw it because the reason I know. Na Lazaro aliona kwa sababu najua. That Lazarus was already up. Because Jesus didn't tell Lazarus to get up. He called Lazarus by his name. And that's what Jesus is doing right now. He's calling you by your name. He's calling, what's your name? Say your name. Say your name. I can't hear you. Say your name. He's saying whatever your name is, call his name. Call his name. Martin. Moses. Moses. No, his name is Lazarus. Jina lake ni Lazaro sasa. Lazarus. And what did he tell Lazarus to do? Aliambia Lazaro nini? Come from the grave. He said Lazarus. Alisema Lazaro. Come forth. Toka nje. Hop out. Oi, unaruka ruka bwana. See sometimes. Unajua wakati mwingine. You have to stay tied up. Lazima ukae umefungwa. But the Lord said to Lazarus. Lakini Mungu alisema bwana asema Lazarus. There's coming a time when he's going to free you. Kuna wakati Mungu atakuwa kwa wewe. God has called you to do. Ufanye kile ambacho Mungu ametaka ufanye. So what did they tell him to do? Loose. Akamwambia akawaambia wafanye nini? Loose the dead. Loose that man. Loose that man. Mfungu. And let him go. Loose that man. Mfungu wedi Lazaro. And let there you go. Loose that man. God is sending somebody to your life. Mungu anatuma mtu maishani To loose you. Kuweza kukufungua. To free you. Kukuweka huru. To send you to where God is saying you to go. Kukutuma mahali pa. Loose your healing. Loose your deliverance. Loose your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lazarus is free. Lazaro yuko Lazarus huru. Lazarus is free. Lazaro yuko huru. Thank you. Asanteni. For helping me today. Kwa kunisaidia leo. Can we thank God for Mary? Tushukuru Mungu kwa Mariamu. Mary Mary number Martha number 2. Martha number 2. Martha number 1. Martha number 1. Can we thank can we clap our hands and thank God? Na tuni wakati wa kumshukuru Mungu. I don't know who this message helped today. Sijui nani ujumbe huu umesaidia leo. But some of you all are in the grave right now. Lakini wengine huko kwenye kaburi siku ya leo. But God has you in that grave. Lakini Mungu anakuona kwa hiyo kaburi. You're protected. Umelindwa. God has prepared you. Mungu amekuandaa. Now that God has loosed you. Na sasa Mungu amekuweka huru. It's time for you to give God praise. Ni wakati wako kumpa Mungu sifa. It's time for you to lift your voice up and give God praise. Ni wakati wako wa kuinua sauti na kumpa Mungu sifa. It's time for you to let everything that have breath. Ni wakati wako wa kuacha kile chini. Praise the Lord. Kikamsifu Bwana. Hallelujah everybody stand. Kila mtu kasimame kwa miguu yako. I got four minutes. Niko na dakika nne. Some of you have walked in here today. Wengine mmeingia hapa leo. God has bound you up. Mungu amekufunga. To keep you from messing up your future. Kuweza kukuzuia usiharibu siku zako za usoni. Today is your day. Lakini siku ya leo ni siku yako. To be free. Kuwekwa huru. Free from sin. Uhuru kutoka kwa dhambi. Free from sickness. Uhuru kutoka kwa ugonjwa. Free from the devil messing with your life. Uhuru kutokana na shetani kucheza na maisha. Time for you to be free. Ni wakati wako kuwa huru. I want you to pat somebody on the back. Nataka ukaguze bega na mwenzako. It's time for you to be free. Umwambie ni wakati wako wa uhuru wako. Who wants to be free today? Nani anataka kuwa huru leo? Who needs freedom today? Nani anahitaji uhuru leo? Who needs healing today? Nani anahitaji uponyaji leo? Who needs a miracle today? Nani anahitaji muujiza leo? Hallelujah, we're back. Oh, uh, uh, that's some say. We're back and say hallelujah. Who can say hallelujah? Say I'm going to be free. Free today. Well, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands.
Father God, in the name of Jesus. Baba, katika jina la Yesu. Oh God, I thank you right now. Na kushukuru sasa. For healing right now. Kwa ajili ya uponyaji sasa. I thank you for deliverance right now. Na kushukuru kwa uponyaji. Hallelujah. I adore you. Deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Uponyaji katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Open your mouth up and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Asante Yesu. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. Na Yesu. Open up your mouth, the Holy Ghost. The anointing is in the house. Freedom is in the house. Hallelujah! Somebody holler, "Free me, Lord! Free me, Lord! Free me!" In the name of Jesus, we claim the victory right now. That the Lord is loosening you right now. He's loosening this church right now. This church shall grow in the power of the Holy Ghost. Souls are going to come in and to receive Jesus in their life. Your house is going to be blessed. When you go back home today, your house is going to be blessed. People that live in your house, you shall free them today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands all over the building. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Shaba, Yabosha. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We claim the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come around here. Come around here. Come 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 here. Come. 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 In the name of Jesus. We claim the victory. I'm almost done. I'm done. It's 11 o'clock yet. You got to walk by faith. 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 In the name of Jesus, walk by faith. If God did it for me, God will do it for you. You got to walk by faith. Hallelujah. Walk by faith. Come on. Walk by faith. Somebody say, walk by faith. God will strengthen. God will heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will strengthen. God will heal. Touch your knees, touch your legs. In the name of Jesus. Anoint. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. Anoint. Strength, strength, strength. strength. Touch your knees. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We speak health right now. We speak health right now. In the name of Jesus. We speak health right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say, in two weeks, in two weeks, you're going to be better. But you got to keep walking. Oh, bless the Lord. You got to keep walking in the name of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. You got to keep walking. This, come here, come here, come here. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me, watch me. When you're at home, when you're sitting down. Don't sit all day. God says, exercise. Stand up. Stand up. Sit down. Five times a day. Healing is going to start taking place. The number five means grace. The grace of God. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. And every time you stand up, Jesus. Sit down, Jesus. Stand up, Jesus. Sit down, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Jesus. God will heal you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. God's going to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you.
for receiving me today. I hope what I said today through the word of God is a blessing to you. Thank you, Pastor, for allowing me to come and fellowship at your church. I'm hoping one day you can come to Beaufort, South Carolina, and we will receive you just as you have received me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We can take our seats. Tuneza keti. Uh, I have learned some two, three important points. Niko nimepanga vipenge vitatu vya maana nimejifunza. That I need to have people that can encourage me in life. Kwamba naitaji watu ambao watanitia moyo katika maisha. Amen. Amen. That sometimes God binds you so that you don't mess up your life. Kwamba wakati mwingine Mungu anakufunga ili usiharibu maisha yako. Amen. Amen. And that no long no matter how long it takes God will still come to deliver us. Kwamba hata ichukue muda upi bado Mungu atakuja kutukomboa. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we believe that God is coming and God has come into our lives. Na tunaamini Mungu anakucha na amekuja kwa maisha yetu. Kupitia mtumishi wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. We want to uh, Bring to the end, end this first service. Tunataka kutamatisha ibada hii ya kwanza. So that we can begin our second service. Ili tuanze ibada ya pili. Amen. Amen. We want to give our offerings. Tunataka tutoe sadaka zetu. We want to worship God. Tunataka kumwabudu Mungu. With our substances. Na 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 fedha zetu. Are you ready? Je, uko tayari? We have come before this altar. Tumekuja mbele ya madhabahu haya. Offer our sacrifice to Weza kutoa sadaka zetu kwa ke Mungu. Worship God. Kumwabudu Mungu. With our substances. Na fedha zetu. So I want you to get into your pocket, into a wallet. Nataka uingie kwenye mkoba wako, kwenye kibeti chako. And then remove a very good offering. Na ukamtolee Bwana sadaka nzuri. The best you can. Ile iliyo bora ambayo unaweza kutoa. Give to the Lord. Tukaweze kumtolea Bwana. Amen. Amen. If you are here and you you will need to give you a tithe. Na kama uko hapa unahitaji kutoa fungu lako la 10. I also want you to stand up on your feet. Nataka ukasimame kwa miguu yako. And let us believe God together with you. Na tukaamini Mungu pamoja na wewe. Eh so that he, we, we, we honor him with what he has given to us. Ili tukaweze kumheshimu na kile ambacho ametupa. Amen. Amen. Well, wale watu ambao wanatoa fungu la 10 umebarikiwa katika hii baada ya kwanza. Naomba usimame ili tikaweze kupokea fungu lako la 10. Simama kwa mguu yako. Tafadhali. Ni wewe tunaongea juu yako ni wewe umebarikiwa sio kila mtu. Ni wewe Mungu alikutembelea, ni wewe Mungu alikufungulia milango. Ni wewe Mungu aliguza watu wa kubariki. Ni wewe ambao Bwana amebariki biashara yako. So I'm speaking to you not to everybody. Kama ungependa kuja hapa nipokee fungu lako la kumi tembea. Tembea nikaweze kuipokea katika jina la Yesu. Ito natoa na sima ama natoa hivyo. Amen. Na alafu ujitayarishe na fungu na sandaka wale wengine. Kama unakuja kuja, nipatie basi. Kama unatoa na simu, namba ya simu ya kulipa iko pale juu. basi tuinue juu Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya sandaka na fungu za kumi za watu wako Bwana ninaposipokea kwa niamba yako mahali hapa ninaomba katika jina la Yesu kaweze kuwabariki wale wote ambao wanatoa wakapate eh, eh, wakaweze kupokea kulingana na vile umesema kufungua madirisha ya mbinguni kaweze kuwabariki mpaka wakakose mahali pa kuweka baraka 
kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wa maangano. Kemea mwaribifu na kuja kuharibu masomo ya watoto, biashara za watoto, na kuja kuharibu ndoa zao, na kuja kuharibu afya yao, na kuja kuharibu uhusiano wao na watu ambao wanawasaidia. Wateja, kemea mwaribifu anayetawanya wateja wao katika china la Yesu ali hai. Kemea mwaribifu anayewazuilia kupandishwa vyeo kwa jina la Yesu ali hai. Baba ninaomba neema ya kupanuka, neema ya kuongezeka, neema ya kubarikiwa, neema ya ulinzi, neema ya kukula matunda ya kazi ya mikono yetu kaweze kujua watu hawa katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa kusikia maombi yetu kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba tukiamini. Amen. Basi naomba utembee hapo kaweze kutoa hiyo fungu lako la kumi. Then kila mtu asimame na sandaka yake. Tunataka tumtolee Bwana sandaka mzuri tumtolee bwana sandaka mzuri kila mtu asimame kwa mguu yake Ino hiyo sandaka juu nataka kuinenea sema bwana ninakuja kwa ima dhabao yako nimekuja kukuabudu nimekuja kuomba nguvu za kuendelea kupitia kwa hii sandaka nimekuja kuomba nguvu za kufanikiwa kupitia kwa hii sandaka Bwana kila pingamizi na vizuizi na vikwazo za shetani kinyume na maisha yangu kunawiri kuendelea kubarikiwa kupanuka kuangaza ikavunjike kupitia kwa uweza wa hii sandaka Nguvu zote za uchawi za uganga za msigaumbwe nguvu zote za maroo za kijamii nguvu zote za maajenti wa shetani nguvu zote za ngiza za kunivuta chini nisinuke nisipanuke nisiendelee nisinawiri nisibarikiwe nisipendwe na watu nizitambulikane na watu nisibarikiwe na watu kupitia kwa itandaka zikavunjike katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu milango ya kufanishi ya promotion ya biashara ya kazi ya baraka kupitia kwa itandaka ikafunguke katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Tembe hapa.